was an, an inventory manager. I was a retail store clothing rep. I was an actor. It was a very small part. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then I actually started two small businesses of my own. I was actually a pool equipment rental uh, business, and I was a cinnamon toothpick distributor. So uh, all in all, uh, 17 different jobs, actually, before I turned 21 and before I came to work at ATT. Uh, so, so I was very to be very young. Uh, since, since joining at and uh, I've actually had the opportunity to have over 20 different jobs uh, inside of at and over my last 28 years. And um, I've been in 14 different cities in those last 28 years. Uh, and I, so I've had a lot of great experiences. And so one of the things I thought is I would, I would kind of share what are some of the things I think it takes to be able to go out and dare? How do you go dare to be? And, and, and one of the things I like, kind of looked at was that I, don't, I, I usually try to write things down and, and use uh, initials on how I remember these things. So I took the word dare, and I really uh, I wanted to kind of share with you guys tonight some of my thoughts in the framework of dare about how you dare to be. So first, the D in dare. I say it's dreams. Uh, you, you, know, you need to follow your dreams. You need to dream about what you want to be able to go accomplish and set that out and, and then go after and be able to chase after that. I think dreaming is a big foundation of daring. Uh, the next is act. Uh, way too many times we don't act and we, we sit back and we are reserved and we don't go for it. And, and so I would challenge you guys to say, take action, you know, take that initiative, go act on what you believe in because that is a key piece to daring. The third is reflect. The R is reflect. Reflect on what you've accomplished, what you've been around, what you've been associated with, and what you would like to do differently going forward. I think that's a great way to drive inspiration around daring. And then finally, the E is experiment. Um, you know, it's sometimes it's, you just start small. Okay, <laughs> you don't have to take the you don't have to take the big leap on everything. Experiment, get into something, and get started. But sometimes the small step is the is the step to get you going. So when I think about daring, again, dream act, reflect, and experiment are really key actions on how you can go out and truly dare to be something you've not done before in the past. And so then that brings me then to some, some things that I've kind of seen here in my current job. Uh, I've been running the Internet of Things, what we've talked about here, for almost six years. That seems like 60 in IoT world. Um, you know, we do have uh, Avi, who you're going to see here later, is one of the one of the founding folks uh, doing IoT inside this business. Linda sitting next to me is, 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 was around before IoT and merging devices was even a name. But I've had the luxury and the honor to really run this organization for the last six years. And I thought I'd tell you a little bit about what, what I've experienced. We, you know, this this organization started off. It was it was a small concept. It was a tiny idea of how can we begin to connect things that had never been connected before, right? We had, we all seen the phones, we've seen these other things, but what was next? And so, you know, you heard a lot of stories about, you know, the Kindle was one of the very first things. FedEx was actually, if you know the tablet that, uh, that the drivers have you sign off on, that was actually one of the very first things that we connected. Um, and so we were an early leader in this space. We actually began to do these things that really became a mainstay in the industry. Um, and and right now, I would tell you that even though we're you know 10 to 15 years into this, we're still at the very beginning of this journey because there's so many more things that are coming. You hear all the terms about 5G and artificial intelligence, machine learning, all these things are coming, but you should feel good that AT&T is right there at the forefront because we set ourselves up to, to structure, to dare to be different, and to dare to win. Uh, and, and so, you know, when I think about this space, it's it's such a it's such a luxury to be able to work in the space because daring to be is actually pretty easy because it is something different every day. If we we can connect anything, you know, can we can connect dirt, we can connect drones, we can connect rice fields, we can connect coolers, and we can do it anywhere in the world. And and so that is what makes it so exciting is we are bringing together machines and people in ways that have never been able to be done before. And we're driving this across every vertical industry in the world. You heard a little bit earlier today, you know, we got, we are known as one being one of the best. We now have over 45 million things we're connecting all over the world in every single industry, from healthcare to car to cities. And we're also creating these innovation facilities that bring people to us to, to be able to create with us. So we've created a healthcare foundry in Houston where, where some of the best minds around healthcare are coming to build us alongside AT&T. 
We created a dry studio inside of Atlanta so we can bring the car makers in. And we're getting ready to do some, a couple of new things that you'll hear in the next few weeks about new innovation facilities that we're creating in other industries as well as around the world. And, and that's what makes at and I think, so special because we are daring to take a different approach and we are giving the opportunity to teams to go out there to dare to do things that have never been done before. You know, I think that the other thing that I got really excited about as we really got into this IoT space, and I hope it resonates with you, is that we said it's great to be winning and daring to do great things in business, but how can we do more? And, and so I really wanted to find a way that we could dare to have a much bigger impact. And, and so we talked about how we could dare ourselves to change the world. And how could we bring and create something that we're now calling IoT for Good? Uh, and this is a really exciting initiative that we've kicked off where we've said we want to go out and figure out how we can use these amazing technologies to truly have an impact on society at large. And if you think about everything from uh, you know, what's going on with, you've got farmers that are actually getting more efficient crops because uh, we're helping them with the watering, to food disposal where we're taking methane gas and, and ensuring it doesn't go into the air, uh, to the work we're doing with a little company called Ira. Uh, many folks with AT&T uh, you know, around the table have heard of this story, but we're actually you know, connecting glasses for those that don't have the ability to see. Uh, these, these are amazing technologies that were right there happening. And in, in fact, today, uh, if you I don't know if you saw it, but we actually announced an incredible partnership down in Puerto Rico uh, with AT&T, Merck, Merck Drugs, as well as uh, Softbox, where we are flying drugs with drones across the island in a temperature-controlled environment so that we can get those drugs to places where the roads can't even get to. Uh, and we announced that today. So, I, you know, I hope that, I, I, that was a great <laughs> Sorry, So I think about every day, as soon as my job, I, I think that I should be at the tip of the spear, and our team should be at the tip of the spear to go and create the next big thing, the next new thing. And so as I kind of wrap tonight, you know, I really want, you know, we've got lots of folks out there across businesses and across our communities and individuals that are, are helping our, helping these students move forward in life. And so I'm going to challenge you guys tonight with a couple dares, okay? Um, I'm going to dare all of you to be a change agent, uh, to give new thinking to an old problem. I'll dare you to be a collaborator, where you're working with others to gain better insights. I'll dare you to be an innovator where you're creating new solutions that have never been out there before. I dare you to be a person who asks the question and challenges the status quo. I'll dare you to change what you want to see. I dare you to be. Thank you very much and have a great day.